Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And I'm going to give you a little update on USS The Sullivans. Alright, to kind of summarize, she was uh, commissioned in 1943, so she's had her 79th birthday just a few weeks ago. She's one of three remaining in America and four in the world. There is uh, the Velos, which was uh, USS Charette, which they have on a mu which they have as a museum ship in Greece. But we also have the USS Cass and Young, and we have the USS Kidd. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around, and of course you can see that list. All right, and then I'm going to go along the hull a little bit. But I'd like to uh, discuss this aft section here. All right, a lot of people on uh, social media have been talking about these hatches right here. You'll actually see that it's a double door and it leads right through to starboard. Uh, and people have been commenting, well, those doors are, those doors were open. As she was uh, listing uh, and taking on water. Well, the explanation for that is because we were planning on being open. And those are on the tour route. Uh, as she got worse and worse, which was really over the course of uh, 15 minutes, uh, we were told to vacate the ships. And so we did not have the ability to shut the hatches and the doors. So they were shut. They're usually shut at night. And we were told to vacate very quickly. And so we did. And we had to leave some of those hatches and watertight doors open because we had to leave the ship. The second area I'd like to uh, show you is right here at the bootstrap. All right, you'll, you'll see the black bootstrap. And then you'll be able to see all of the zebra mussels. Uh, and of course that's not all of them. She was actually listing worse yesterday than today and you were able to see a little bit more. But talking about the company Bidco, they were here last year. They were able to work for about uh, three months and the first thing they were doing and they did it quite successfully was scrape off the zebra mussels and they were working on port here. So you'll see, well, we do have a little hole in the engine room, as you can see. But you'll see the demarcation line as we get closer to it, right there. So again, we're on port. They were able to clean off all of the zebra mussels up to that point right there. And that was the first step to them begin assessing the hull, the places that didn't have any integrity to them, and then they were going to begin laying down that Somme high coat, that two-part epoxy. All right, so for those are, that are wondering like what was going on last year, that's what they did. They did about uh, 150 feet or so of scraping the zebra mussels and assessing the hull in that from the blade to about 150 feet. And again, they, we raised over a million dollars and we spent about 350,000 last year. And so we recognize this as a problem 
and we started to address it last summer. Now another area I'd like to show is what we were doing is what we were doing for maintenance, daily maintenance. This is pretty interesting. So again, she has come up a little bit because yesterday I was able to find some patches that we have done and I was going to show those but today I can't find them they are under the water line let's see So we had an example of a, a, a steel strake that really had a lot of, uh, was like Swiss cheese, was did not have much integrity left, and we had five patches in one area. Those are, those were exposed yesterday, and now because the ship has apparently come up to the center line a little bit they are now underwater I can't show you those but again we are working with all of our partners USS Coast Guard Bidco Marine Group and um, they are working to develop the plan to get her back on an even keel. Alright, those are some quick updates. I wanted to dispel some things that we've been seeing on social media uh, and to kind of show you some of the work that was getting done last year. So we identified the problem last February, in February of 2021. We developed the plan. We found the company. They started working. They worked for about two to three months on the port side here. And you see they got about 150 feet before the weather changed and they had to uh, stop for the winter. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll be giving you updates as we have them. Thank you. Please subscribe, ring the bell, check out our other videos on the right-hand side of your computer, all that good jazz, and we'll see you again soon.